Shalom Aleichem everyone. This is a guide how to get to the Kvarim of the Chida, Rav Chaim Yosef David Azulai and Rav Mordechai Eliyahu. So you start off in the parking lot to Harmenuchot and you just start going up this little side street as it goes up the hill here. And right away on your left hand side you're going to see this building here. So you just go inside. And the first cover you're going to see is the Chida, and then right past him is Rav Mordechai Eliyahu. And there's actually an interesting story, as a side note, why these two tzaddikim are buried next to each other. I heard this uh, personally from a student of Rav Mordechai Eliyahu, who is very close to him, that the Chida was Nifter in Italy, and was originally buried there. And at one point, the Italian government was going to relocate the grave to build some sort of park or something. And the Rabunuts here in uh, Israel uh, managed to get an agreement out of them. They worked out a deal to transfer his uh, body to Eretz Israel to reinter it here. But they put it in a, uh, a crate. A tractor had dug it up with some of the surrounding dirt and they put it in some sort of crate and between loading it in the crate and the flight over, uh, the dirt inside had gotten all mismashed around, and the bones of the chida were disorganized, and they weren't aligned properly. So when the crate got to the airport in Israel, Rav Mordechai Eliyahu, who was uh, not yet chief rabbi at that time, he was a little younger, went with two other rabbanim to uh, re receive the crate, and when they found out what would happen, they were in a bit of a quandary what to do. Rav Mordechai Liao suggested that they rearrange the bones because it would not be proper kavod to the chida to bury the bones uh, all disaligned. But the other two Rabbanim uh, felt that it would be improper to reach into the crate and start moving things around. So Rav Mordechai Liao went up to the crate and he said something to the effect of, you know, Rav Achida, I don't mean any disrespect to your body whatsoever, but the halacha mandates that we need to bury your body properly with everything in the right place. I don't know exactly how to rearrange everything, so I'm asking Bichvodcha that you should rearrange it properly yourself. All of a sudden, the crate started violently shaking and they could hear the bones rolling around inside. One of the Rabbanim with Rav Eliyahu ran out of the room in a fright. The other one was so frightened he actually passed out unconscious. And the rumbling went on for about a minute or so and then it stopped and the crate was gentle again. And Rav Mordechai Eliyahu just opened it just a tiny bit and he slipped his hand in felt around just to make it sure everything was in its proper place. He could tell that it was, and then he closed the crate back up again, and they proceeded to take the crate uh, to the Levaya. So they buried the Chida here in Hamanuchot, and then years later when Rav Mordechai Eliyahu was Niftar, because of that special connection he had had with the Chida, they decided to bury him uh, next to the Chida's kever. At the time, there was a smaller building around the Chida's kever, but uh, within a year or so, they tore that structure down and then they rebuilt a very beautiful one that contains both of them, as well as a uh, small little area with Sfarim, uh, a little downstairs area next to it, that if you ever go there is a nice place to, to learn and to daven, as well as to daven next to the Kavarim themselves. So, hope you enjoy the story, and uh, hope you enjoy this guide, and that it helps you to get to these two amazing tzaddikim. It's really a great place to daven.